So hey guys, um, this is the video for changing out the forks that I was talking about. These are 47 millimeter Showa forks off of a 2004 to 2007 Honda CRF 250. Um, having ridden them and now and and tried them out and put them in, if you can get 450s, you'll find that the um, the spring rate's a little bit harder, a little bit higher, um, heavier, and will work better if you're above like 180 pounds. So if you're if you're on the heavier side, above like 180 or so, try to get 450 um, forks if you're doing this swap. But um, going further, so nothing had to be done or made to make this work. It was a simple swap out. All I had to do was remove the old ones out of the clamps, move the front, you know, take off the front wheel and the brake and put them back on. With the exception, I did have one problem. The fork guards on the bottom down here, you, I, I'm not sure if it's even in frame, but the fork guards themselves work better if you can get original Honda. The ones that came from the KO are, um, the, the bolt holes don't line up 100%. I was able to make them work by slotting them, making them a little bit oblong, and I was able to get them to work. And I also had to remove on the inside of this brake side where the rotor attaches, the bolts would rub up against the fork guard. So I actually had to remove um, almost quite a bit, like almost an eighth of an inch of material off of the inside of the fork guard so that it wouldn't rub. But as you can see now, it, you know, the wheel runs fine, no problem. The original fork guard, um, the disc brake guard works, the original fork guards are what I have on and they're working fine and they're able to work. Um, I did not do this because I felt the Fast Ace product was bad. The only negative was that the Fast Ace, Fast Ace product is heavier. If you can find these, I've looked on eBay, I got a really great deal, but I've had them for over a year and a half. Um, and I had to rebuild them, totally had to rebuild them. I, anything you're buying that's from 2004 to 2008, if someone else hasn't done it, you're gonna need to rebuild them. And that's what I had to do. All the bushings, all the bearing, um, the bushings and the seals and the oil had to all be changed out. But um, besides that, anyways, from what I can find on eBay right now, they're in the $400 range plus shipping, which, you know, that's a costly upgrade, but you save six pounds. And you do get a, I will say these, particular Shawa 47 millimeter forks were pretty damn good. Um, they got high ratings and the set I have is 2005, but they, 2005 through 2007, but I believe they kept on making them even after that. Um, and they weren't always considered the best forks, but for this setup on this KO, they work fine. And even the 250 spring rate works. That's what I have in here. Um, and I go, I go 200 pounds. I just had to put more compression into it and, um, a little bit high, higher on the, excuse me, slow down, slow down the rebound. So that wasn't run, running in the harshest part of the stroke. But any, anyways, however you look at it, it is an upgrade and you get more, um, more adjustability as far as clicker settings with compression and rebound with the Shawas. But like I said before, the I, I didn't do it for any other reason than they're just six pounds lighter. The materials that they use with the Shawas are lighter than what the Fast Ace components were. So if you're happy with your, your Fast Ace or you don't have the money to do this swap or you're just a regular guy, then this doesn't apply to you. But, um, you know, I like to tinker with things and try to get them the best I can. And so this was an option that I saw that would just 
clamp on, no problem. Just fit right into the regular triple clamps, no problem here. No, like I know a guy put on some white powers and he had to have these milled out to 48 millimeter, but these are 47, <clears throat> excuse me, this, this inside diameter is not that, but he had to have it milled out to, to accommodate a bigger fork um, that the white power stuff has. But this is a non, um, non-modification swap. All you have to do is buy it, put it in, they're good to go. You have to either get Honda uh, lower fork tube guards or use, use the KO ones. They do have a good uh, system for the uh, brake. The, the brake line coming down. They do have three places where it mounts to hold it, so that's why I kept it. But I had to oblong the mounting holes and take a little bit off of the for a little bit of material away from from the inside of the fork guard. But other than that, that was it. That was it. That's just want to share with you, and uh, you guys, you know, have a good one.